Good morning, Morty. Hi. Hello. Are your friends up on the platform? Well, there's Morris. I'm sure the others aren't too far away. Hi, sweet boy. Hi. It's a nice morning out here. It's uh, going on 8.30, I guess. And uh, it's in the 50s, sunny. And all my kitties are here without having to call or hunt or worry. So it's a good morning. Good morning! It's paper time. Paper and coffee time. Hey guys, you enjoying that chicken? Good, good, good. Well, I have to admit, I'm enjoying the advent calendar more than you would have thought uh, possible for an adult Lego fan, I guess. Um, today is door five and I don't know what that is. I'm gonna say it's a little table. Maybe it's a cake. It's in a cake covered dish. I don't know. It's pretty whatever it is. Let me put it together. So there's a heart in there. I don't know exactly what it is, but we're building a scene. Um, I am on the little whiteboard and then um, the admin calendar is. So we'll see what we do with it as we go. Uh, so we have the FSD beta. <laughs> I didn't even know it. Now look. Don really scoured his email last night, and we were going on that, and he has no email from Tesla that we've That's been correct. accepted into the program. He's not missing it. He hasn't mm -hmm. overlooked it. We didn't get it because he gets all the emails, oh. which upsets me, but that's another story. And I don't want to permanently change it to me either. I just want us both to get the email. That's right. So we're sorry. I'm a little embarrassed that we were looking at that screen, and we didn't realize we had it, but we do thanks to... A couple of viewers that tipped us off and the comments or, or email through emails really yes. appreciate all of the help because obviously we're not having the best week here that we've ever had um no. it's been a, between um you know mostly uh, losing sleigh and then the extra things associated with the holiday and oh. our garage door failing um, has really been causing Don extra time and grief on top of his normal workload, which hasn't reduced no. any. So it's we appreciate the help. Um, yes. I'm going to go ahead and enable the camera viewing, the yeah. the remote sentry viewing, and then we're going to try a little bit of beta FSD beta driving over to Fleming Loop Park. We're not going to go super far today yeah, because yeah, he, Don has so do. much to do, and I really want him in the car. To film for this although I can try to set up some um, GoPro cameras but that adds a lot a to time. my nightly editing and I'm having trouble staying awake to edit the yeah. footage anyway uh, and I'd rather have Don in the car because we're a good team and um, so we will get Don behind the wheel to try it out but we'll save that for another day and when you know he's a little less stressed than um, time constrained so Anyway, that's where we are this morning. <laughs> so hit the car and come into safety and security and uh, live, view live camera via mobile app. Last night I had actually found this. Um, yeah, uh, I had um, turned my, uh, I'm surprised this is not set to on honk on my profile here, but that's okay. Let's do that too. Um, I don't honk the horn a lot, but, you know, uh, not to catch dash cam footage, but I might. I'm sure on Ruby it's set to on honk. Um, but anyway, last night I had enabled the live viewing in the mobile app. I had seen that, and I was going to come out here and look this morning. But, um, yeah, so I'm glad. Uh, we ha also had a reminder that that was included in the package that we put on. And it's we'll try that while we're walking the track. And then, of course... Um, for those that aren't Tesla drivers, just so you see, I'm hitting the little car down there and then coming into autopilot. And now we have, um, you are enrolled into full self-driving beta Q. That wording Misleading. didn't cha change. Yeah. And we never yeah. looked down here to That's full right. self-driving visualization preview. Um, you yeah, still need to be an attentive driver. This is not uh, a replacement for an attentive driver. I accept 
expand full self-driving visualization is also on so when we go into autopilot it ought to be doing its thing now and i am gonna i'm not gonna try it here on the driveway but i am gonna try it starting in the cul-de-sac and then maybe coming back in we'll see what it does coming this way on the driveway when God, zeb it must was be a year ago now that zeb's had the full self-driving beta because he was one of the very first people to have it you yeah. know him and um kyle and brian and everyone were here um you know, it would not do the driveway at that time. And I right. don't want to land off the bridge down there in the Tesla like the UPS truck did all those years ago. But no. I might be willing to let um, Jules try to come into the driveway a little bit. You yeah. know, um, Google Maps shows the driveway ending, I don't know, 50 feet in, 100 feet in. And then the other 300 feet, Google Map doesn't know about that part of the driveway. And it's just kind of not there. So um, anyway, we'll see what it does on the driveway. I'm still expecting that yeah. to be limited. Well, first off, let's put in the park. Um, you're recording? Yep. If I could spell. Okay, 1.1 miles. Woohoo! Oh, come on. There's no network error. <laughs> That's not fair. All right, so I'm going to navigate to Fleming Loop Park which is only 1.1 miles away, except for it is unable to retrieve destination address due to network error. Well, I have four out of five bars yeah, LTE. I think it's lying. What's going on with that? I mean, I am in a little dip here in the, there it is. All right, I don't know what the, what the hiccup was there, but we are that now. And I'm gonna wow, get- Wow, it's gonna take us through the neighborhood. <laughs> Nope, doesn't want to let me engage. Neighborhood streets. Auto steer, that's right. Temporary, there's no line markings here, so it's a no-go. Yeah. All right, we're out on a marked road. I've got the Tesla T. Please keep your hands on the wheel. 500 feet. But is feet, it actually doing it now? Yes, it's 300 feet. All right, is it going to turn into the neighbor? Can't believe it wants to take us into the neighborhood. Slow down a little bit. It wasn't going to take us, so we've missed somehow. It wasn't putting on the turn signal. There's something else we must have to do to enable it. Oh, okay. Because it was not. I understand. Kate. Um, yeah. so turn up here at the environmental park, park and, and go we'll look at the out. settings. Yeah. Yeah, there it is, right on the screen. FSD Beta 10.5. Yeah, as of Friday morning. Yeah, we're not convinced. Well, um, yeah, it's like half there, but not really. Well, you've enabled it and disabled it again. Well, it, autopilot and navigate on autopilot, right. or it's called auto steer to re-accept the terms. Because I think if it was drive, it, we'd get the one line or whatever. Right, well, it ought to stop at the stop sign up here, yeah. but it would have done that before anyway. Oh, yeah, it's been doing that. I haven't done that too many times, but it has been doing. I'm not doing anything. The car is totally doing its own thing. Right. Now, the question that I have it is it um, on autopilot unable to proceed takeover? Okay. Get, and, and the other, but the other thing is they have the ultimate repo tool. It's like oh, yeah. you owe us. You have to pay. You're not agreed to the terms. Yeah. Boom. You're you're stuck on the side of the road. We're sending the tow truck. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Doug. Nobody else. Yeah. No other car dealer knew that. Yeah, I agree. So <laughs> I gotta tell you, this, this was one of those I was. I should get it off the, this camera up here. Where's the button? Save that clip. Oh, oh yeah. Something. I hope it saved that clip. <laughs> we're gonna pull that off. Um, what happened? We're sitting in the car and we're facing the park. And this, I've got to tell you. I was actually attracted to him. <laughs> He's got to be six four, six five, V shaped like, like Adonis. The, the tight pants, uh, uh, running shorts on, you know, showing all the stuff. And he comes running by, you know, just strutting. I mean, you know, he and then Marianne, her eyes just like followed him across the screen. So I whacked her. <laughs> And then I realized what I was doing. I mean, my mouth was probably open a little bit. And I was like, I didn't mean to do it. It was, I swear, I didn't mean to do it. I'm just a warm-blooded female. I can't help it. As I said, I'm not gay at all. But that guy might have convinced me. 
Yeah, per perfect specimen is what yeah, we we'll call was, him. I would put him up there. I've got to we, tell you. We'll, we'll just make ourselves feel better. He probably doesn't have half the personality yeah. to go along with the body. It's hard to have both, you know. <laughs> That's the first time Don's ever noticed yeah, me never. looking at another guy. Oh well, she's whacked me when I've I've looked at other yeah, women like, and so, yeah, all the yeah, time. Yeah, I've, heard, I've heard it enough. I uh, tuck Jules in a little more carefully than mornings when we're over here because well especially on the other side over here there are a ton of people playing soccer I mean this is the most cars I've seen here recently and there is maybe a team practicing up here but not a game so the side's not quite as crowded Don's ahead of me because he's headed to the restroom um, I've messaged um, Zeb because he's been in the beta since the very original people got the beta as uh, the president of our owner's club. And uh, we talk with our friend Andy who has the beta and has given us some tips. And uh, appreciate uh, viewers that have sent us emails and stuff. And anyway, we tried to get it going, but we can't. Apparently, we should not have that. You're still in the beta Q message up at the top on the auto um, pilot screen tab. It's like we've got the software installed. I can see the little feedback camera up at the top and I know what that's for from when I drove around with Zeb a year ago. And um, You know we can see the release notes and we have the buzz button to turn on the visualization and all that good stuff but we still don't have an email from Tesla. And our best guess at this point is we just haven't been authorized to use it on top of downloading it. I don't know. So um, we'll see if Zeb has any clues when he sees my message. And we'll go from there. And I guess uh, for now we're going to go for our walk. And um, we'll go ahead and do the um, remote sentry viewing um, demo today. And uh, go from there. It's all we really really can do we sh troubleshot it as best we could and it just won't uh, just won't engage I think they're playing flag football on this field this is not soccer they've got this is flag football yeah they're killing us with the french fry smell and I'm not even a huge french fry person well it is good to see so many people outside enjoying a pretty day it may be cloudy now but it's plenty warm plenty enjoyable out here for a December day. Well I've tried three separate times and I cannot connect to Jules to look at the camera view. Maybe this Jules doesn't have good uh, cell service here. I don't know. It's a little frustrating. I could try on Don's phone but I can't screen record as easily as I can on my iPhone and I guess it'd be nice to know if it would work on your phone though so probably hand it over. I got to do my Pokemon anyway. It's two kitty cats on little harness and leashes. So oh, let's see, we got um, uh, 5,793 steps, 4936 time, 2.67 miles, 1835 per mile. Oh, well, that's not too bad. Yeah, that was pretty good. All right, well, I got my 30 out of 30 exercise minutes, so it's a wrap yep. here at Fleming Loop Park today. It's that time again. It is. <laughs> But no lighting engineer shirt this year. Yeah, well, I got my Alabama shirt on because we know we beat Georgia. We're on in. We're gonna probably be the number one seed into the uh, the national championship playoff. Don was quite happy Very about happy. the football game, and I was relieved because I live with him. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, she let me watch my game. I watched the whole thing. I didn't just skip through stuff. I actually watched the whole thing. I, I mean, I did. I was delayed. I never got caught up live because. Uh, we, everything just took way longer yesterday. Yeah. Well, thanks for taking time to set the tree up for me. You're welcome. Pretty. So I can decorate it while you're out in the garage. Because I know that Don's just dreading dealing with that door. Pretty much. Yeah. I think he'd be happier fixing a plumbing issue today than dealing with the garage door. It'd be close anyway. Right. Yeah. <laughs> but thank you for getting it for me. You're welcome, pretty girl. You know, one of my Christmas presents last year was this table, and I use it all the time with my Lego projects. So anyone that does any kind of craft stuff or um, just needs a table for when they're decorating or extra space in the kitchen or whatever, this and it does adjust. For me, I wish it went a little lower 
that's the only thing I would change about it. It does have a break on the two reels on the right, and I don't know. It was a great gift. Um, I'll try to remember to put the link in the description in case anybody's interested. I, my memory is it was about 45 50 bucks, something like that, but I've pretty much almost used it every day, so it was totally worth it for me. I told A to pause, but I've got some classic Christmas music playing. I wish Don was in a spot, even if he was taking a nap with his headphones on. I miss him. Johnny won't be home until 6, and um, I'll let him put the Star Trek and Star Wars ships on tonight or whenever he feels up to it. Um, I love old school ornaments, glass, what I grew up with. And... Um, I put them high and I put plastic low because if the cat's bad at an ornament, I don't want to have to fuss at them. And then my father, he bought me some really nice glass ornaments. I'll put them in super safe spots. Um, our tree fell 1982, 1983. We went up to New Jersey for Christmas to visit my grandmother, my maternal grandmother. And we came home and the tree had fallen and a bunch of our antique vintage ornaments broke. And poor dad, I cried and cried and he tried to buy me ornaments to make up for it, sweet person that he was. Um, I still miss that one pink wire-wrapped ornament that got broken, though. It was uh, really long, even longer than these. and I do treasure these, though. Well, it's coming along. I hope I left Johnny some room for his starships. Uh, uh, it's, uh, all those were on there with the starships last time, although it may have been easier for him. It's, the tree's really strong. It can hold up a lot. Yeah. Don came in to wash his hands, get a drink of water, check on my progress. Yeah, I had the springs kind of greasy, even though I was wearing uh, gloves and stuff. I, you know, I washed, got the grease off my hands before I got it all over everything. Uh, the springs replaced. I have to say, I'm, I had warned Kitten that I, just because I'm going to go out there and work on it doesn't mean it's going to be fixed today. I'm, I'm still optimistic, but it, I don't think it was the spring. So, uh, as I said, told her, I said, if nothing else, I've eliminated yet another thing that it, it can't be. So, um, um, you know, it's, I, I'm just going to find out. I'm, I'm going to go put the um, little mechanism on it that lets you tension the spring uh, with uh, your uh, driver, drill driver, you know, with the 716 inch socket. It basically turns the gear and it winds the spring up in there. And so, um, you know, that's the poofs in the pudding type thing, whenever that spring gets wound up in there and gets tension in the new spring. Because, uh, you know, the, a spring just, if it breaks, it's one thing, but it just doesn't get uh, quickly weak. It, they weaken slowly over time. They don't work great one day, and then the next morning you come out, and all of a sudden they're too weak to lift the door. So, uh, you know, we'll see. My fingers are crossed. I'd like for you to not have to worry on it anymore. Yeah, I, I really don't want to fool with stuff. I got other things I need to do. Yeah, like you're pointing at the gateway? Yeah, the gateway's outside. Okay. Yeah, you're going to bring it back in tonight? I'm going to bring it back in. Well, it was only 42 or 44, and there's no rain, but we're going to get rain tomorrow night. And it's not that it's covered on the porch, but it really shouldn't be out in the weather. Yeah. Well, I've put everything on the tree that I intend to put on tonight. Um, I put on... I don't know that one. I put on quite a few Hallmark ornaments, but not so much Star Wars and Star Trek. There's my Elf collection, which is one of the newer sets. Um, there's my Ruby. See, it sort of has a Tesla T on the front. Can you see that? And um, the actual Tesla ornament that a diva made that I bought a couple years ago is there. I've got uh, Rosie from the Jetsons, one of my all-time favorites. Thomas and Percy, they're two, they're four, they're six, they're eight. Yeah, you guys that watch the show with your kids, you know the tune. Um, the Flintstones, Fred and Dino. And um, there is, um, I love this My Cat ornament. I got that, I think last year or the year before at the Garden Hut when they had their open house. We've got a robot. And I did put on the new swan that looks half like a pink flamingo. We've got the Ghostbusters, Ecto-1. And uh, we got some elves and some owls, of course. What would my tree be like without them? 
and a puppy dog to represent all the puppy dogs last. This ornament's kind of cute. I try and always to tell if that's a, I guess it's a dog. It could be a cat. I don't know. There's, um, that should be Johnny. There's a Star Trek off, uh, ornament return to tomorrow, forever. You know the episode. And, um, a, uh, Star Wars one back here because, you know, gotta have Star Wars on the tree too. And there's more trains and you get the gist. I guess that was most, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Eva and Wally, they're on the tree back here too. All right, I think you're gonna like this. Be careful with it, it's fragile. What it is. Oh, it's, a robo it's robot ornaments. Hold it up for me. Yeah, that one's kind of round. You can wait set it, okay. That one looks like uh, Lost in Space robot, maybe the original. Yeah. A bit. All right. Well, let's go hang them on your green tree. Yeah. Along with the other robot friends, you have additions this year.